morning everybody welcome back to another video today it is a monday and in philly's trash and treasure look what i found at our apartment rubbish area so every single end of the month people always just throw away really really good things and today i picked up a nespresso machine i have no idea if it works but we've actually got two of these already one at home and one at the warehouse but i thought we could get a third one i could give it to someone or maybe we could use this in our house i was thinking because everything is so white in our house this one would go perfectly so let's see if this works i have no idea it looks pretty new though there's only a couple of things i would need to do i just need to clean up like this area because there's little like milk stains but this is so good can't believe this is for free all right so i've just plugged in the machine right here the moment of truth let's see if this works i don't remember i think do you know how to turn this machine on oh it actually turns on okay i've added some water in this this is what froths the milk i'm gonna put it on and see if this works and makes the water go warm I hope you know you're missing the water bit on this side. <laughs> oh fuck. Is it? Yeah, you're missing the, 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 the tube thing that sucks water through. Oh my god, I maybe didn't grab it. What the hell? <laughs> oh man, no! Oh, it's what a scam. Kind of. Oh it's shit, it's working water. though. Yeah, it's gonna suck water, but it has no water to suck. Oh fuck, I should have grabbed it. I didn't, I didn't think about that. What do you mean you didn't? So you know. saw I, it? I grabbed the bit here though. But, but you saw it. it. No, I didn't. I don't think I saw it, but it would have been there. Why would they throw away this and not have that? Quick little update. Just finished packing a bunch of orders. Honestly, this whole pile here is for courier, please. I feel sorry though, because Fastways, our second courier, only has one parcel, which is a bit sad. <laughs> But what I'm going to do right now is start doing a uniform order. This one's actually for someone you may have already heard of. It's called a business called The Usual Joint. They do like amazing cream puffs. It's honestly so good. They're located in Sunshine. I'm going to be doing, I think, 40 t-shirts and five hoodies for them. So we're going to do printing and embroidery. I'll show you guys part of the process and what it looks like. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> working on the usual joints uniforms and this is what I have done if you guys can see that is a whole bunch of vinyl printed like fronts so on the t-shirts they're gonna have just their normal logo which is right here there's 40 printed this honestly was a lot easier to peel than some other designs that we've done so I was pretty happy about that whilst that was going I also did a tester because they're getting five hoodies I always have to do like a practice one and because we had some like blank spare hoodies that we're never going to use i decided to do it on a proper one usually i'll do like a scrap bit of material but this is the logo and usually when i'm doing logo work the first time i do it it actually is always really messy and for some reason doesn't work and i have to make adjustments but for this one it turned out perfect like look at their little cream puff it's all touching the lines are the lines are like aligned and everything so this one's good to go i'm going to embroider the final ones tomorrow and then also behind me, let me grab them, How has started and helped me print the back of the t-shirt. So these are their cream puffs right here. These are all DCG printed with that printer that we got like a couple weeks ago. And honestly, it looks so good. This is exactly how they wanted it. And the colors are really, really nice. So all we have to do now is put the vinyl on the front of this and then these are ready to go. Dun, 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 dun. We're at Kmart. What'd you just do, Baba? Lost in basketball. Jesus oh. <laughs> okay, let's find some freaking goodies inside Kmart. It's been so long. This is actually what I really came here to get. I was going to buy this online, but since I had basketball and this Kmart is around the corner, these are a double close extendable. I'll show you guys when we get home. Hey. What? It's this doesn't. This doesn't help if you have too much, too many clothes. Yeah, because I'm going to put no, clothes but the, at the weight bottom. of clothing. It doesn't matter. It does because this takes the weight off your other thing over. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna okay. do it. I'm only a little gal. My stuff isn't heavy. Do you want one? Times like this. I think I told we should have got a trolley. I always tell you to get a trolley, baby. Every Still time. $12 ropes. Oh, you should get one actually. It'll keep you warm. $12? Not made out of money. And why 
got to a limited. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenant. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. We are finally back home and as you guys saw we went and had some dragon hot pot and we were stopped by a Korean Asian grocery as well and I saw this guy he had a cardboard cutout wait I need to show you guys a photo I honestly am obsessed with it it was like literally just a cardboard cutout of him and I made how take a photo of it I mean I'm very very lame but he's my number one Korean actor and I also picked up some gochujang. I always see people cooking with this, so I decided to grab some and I'm gonna see what I can make this week or this weekend with this. It's just like, I'm pretty sure like a pepper, hot chili pepper paste. So pretty sure I can use that in a lot of my cooking. But what I got from Kmart is one of these shelves. I'm gonna put this in our snack shelf so that I can layer things and how I can see snacks a bit easier because at the moment it's very, very messy. I think this weekend I'll fully organize our whole system because it's just very hard to find everything in there. Also, at Kmart, I picked up this. Now, you're probably gonna be like, girl, aren't you like nearly 30? But I got this. This is like a beaded kit, and I actually bought another one off eBay last week, but there was a couple colors that I was missing. So I found this one. This was a little bit pricier though, it was $20, but there's 1,500 plus beads in here. And what I'm gonna do is make like personalized beaded things so um, and sell them on my Etsy because that's just like a really really popular thing at the moment so yeah I enjoy making this stuff as well and of course you saw the reason why I really wanted to go to Kmart was for these extended pole things I saw this actually on some girl's story that I followed and she does this because she's also about my size and if you're like because our clothes are a little bit smaller we can like double layer and make better use out of the space so i'm not gonna do it tonight i'll probably do it tomorrow and show you guys hopefully it works though and i added some coat hangers with it so fingers crossed we'll see we'll see you guys tomorrow anyways i realized i think i'm just gonna end the video there i actually tried to put those clothes hanger poles in my wardrobe like a couple minutes after but it's just the whole ordeal that's gonna need to happen. So I'm gonna need to do that on the weekend. I need to take all of my clothes out of my wardrobe, reorganize and hang things up properly because some things are longer and shorter. But anyways, that's gonna be for a weekend vlog this weekend. Today's notification video shout out goes to two people because I haven't done it in a while. So the first one is going to David N. He actually asked, what is the address of the Hong Kong cafe? It is called, I think, plus 825 cafe and it's in Fulton Lane which is in Melbourne CBD kind of near like Elizabeth Street I personally call it the second Asia town very very close to there there's a whole bunch of like different foods and stuff as well the next one goes to Gav on RS shout out to Gav for commenting on our previous video and let's do a third one the third one goes to making new dreams come true thank you so much to everybody that commented on our previous video I will see you guys in our next video whenever that may be. Bye guys!